Good evening, we're live here again at the Darwin Sailing Club as Nine News celebrates the Darwin Cup Carnival. We begin tonight with the sentencing of Michael Martin, the man who killed a Territory policeman with a king hit. Martin was sent to jail today for three years and eight months. For one last time, Brett Meredith's family walked into the Supreme Court and they came out devastated. Helen, is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, shattered. Absolutely shattered. Three years, uh, head sentence, non-parole of one year and eight months or ten months. They've waited 18 months for justice and for the sentencing of Michael Martin, who was found guilty of the manslaughter of their husband, son and father. The fact that he was the most, the most awesome father you could ever ask for for your children and he's gone. And, uh, and one year and eight months doesn't, um, doesn't do that justice. In handing down his sentence, Justice Barr found Martin's actions had been grossly negligent rather than reckless and that Martin hadn't intended to cause Sergeant Meredith's death. Justice Barr also agreeing with the jury that Martin's punch was a king hit. You had become angry with Mr Meredith and that you intended your punch would be a knockdown punch, one that would put Mr Meredith on the ground. Michael Martin made no reaction when the sentence was handed down, keeping his head bowed for most of the proceedings. When the court was adjourned, he stood to hug his family and friends before being led away to the cells. There will never be closure for us. Uh, this is an ongoing thing for us. I just wanted some justice done. Amy also indicating she would like to appeal, but ultimately that decision will be left with the DPP. What happens now is I go and pick up my children and I go home and we go to the park. Kathleen Bruin, Nine News.